Hi guys, Shiny Moko here. Today we are going to bring you a totally different episode of making a top loader binder. I usually store my cards in the sleeve and then top loaders for all my uh, full art cards or Bmax cards or even better ones. Uh, so I do get a lot of them by just opening up boxes. And I don't want them to just sit in a box and I have to flip through them. Having them putting in the binder make it a lot easier for display as well as flipping through the pages and looking at a lot of them. So that's why I think a top loader binder is a great idea. However, a top loader binder is not usually what a lot of people would do because there are a few things that make it problematic. For example, um, top loader putting in a binder makes it a lot heavier than a traditional binder and make it more difficult to carry around. As well as the fact that top loaders are a lot bigger than the original cards, having a nine, nine card page binder is very, very big. And that's why we actually don't see a lot of top loader binders on the market. These are the ones I actually ordered from scrapbook.com and I will put the links in uh, the description section as well. This is not an ad, this is just my personal um, DIY things that I ordered from them and I think it will work great for top loaders. So let's put the pages in there and see how it works. So since this is my first time ordering from them, I actually ordered two binders and a hundred pages. Each fits four top loader, three by four top loaders for uh, Pokemon cards or sports cards. What I realized after putting all the top loaders in the binders is that actually each binder fits only 20 pages filled with top loaders. So each binder can carry around 80 cards with it. It makes an amazing display of cards and it's lightweight because it only carries 80 each page with 4. Right now I will show you a demo of putting my Celebrations Classic Collection cards into the binder and see how they look in here. I forgot to mention that another reason why I want to DIY a top loader binder is because that the top loader binders on the market are actually very expensive. Uh, there's eBay sellers as well as um, bigger sellers that may be overseas and each one can go up to 80 to 100 US dollars including shipping. And each one that I make here only costs about $20. Just a reminder that if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do and like our video as well. We are a new content creator and I really need your support. So let's check it out how they look. So my Celebrations Classic Edition collection is actually not complete. We are still missing a few cards that hopefully we'll get soon. But I think um, the transparency in these um, top loader binder pages are actually pretty good and the cards are stored very perfectly in there I, since you only store 20 of them inside a d-ring binder i don't think it will hurt any of the cards once again thank you for watching today's video i really enjoyed creating this one and all the website and links will be included in the description please subscribe to us like and comment. Thank you very much for watching today's video and we'll see you in the next one.